These highlights are brought to you by your San Diego County Toyota dealers and by Fix Auto. Hey sports fans, Christian Pedersen here with San Diego Prep Insider. I am on campus at Helix, hanging out with the dog houses. They're watching their girls lacrosse team move on in the playoffs. Let's see how they got it done. Helix, you know their hype? The doghouse playing for something that they've never done before, and that's make it to the final four of Girls the Cross. Granite Hills standing between them. Granite Hills to get here had to beat Francis Parker, and a big part of that was Circle Lieberman, as she's the first one to score Granite Hills going on top. Ashley Allen, just moments later, though, counters for Helix and sets the tone that the Scotties were not going to go away today. Back over to Granite Hills, Katherine Johnston receives a great pass, scores Granite Hills back on top, but right back at it, Paige Scarborough scoring for Helix, draws it even. And then how about we show you Delana Purdue, the first but not last of her goals on the day as she gives Helix the lead and they would not look back. Add one from her younger sister, that's Callie Purdue. Then on the way out of the first half, let's show you one from Sophia Jones, the whoop, shoot a laser right there, sidearm shot. Helix big lead going into the second half. Promised you more from Delana Purdue. How about that one off the eight meter? Helix just kept on scoring. They ran up a pretty decent lead, but Granite Hills, Becky Hartnett, you gotta watch out for her in the coming years. She helped bring it close, but was not able to push them over the edge. Show you one more from Paige Scarborough. She's another part of that young talent on the other side. This Helix team, they are going on to the final four for good reason. Let's hear from Delana Purdue after the game. I'm um, just really excited. Now we're up to the quarter, uh, semifinals, the final four, and we've never done that like since ever. So this is my senior year, so it's uh, really exciting to finally make that accomplishment. Hey guys, Sarah JV here for San Diego Prep Insider, checking in on some boys volleyball playoff action. La Jolla is hosting Tory Pines. Keep watching to see who will advance. Well, it's that time of year again, playoffs and prom. The good news is he meets the height requirement. Off to some volleyball. La Jolla Vikings have only lost one game this season, but Torrey Pines, they're up for the task though. Game number one, Falcons serve it up, Vikings respond, and it's just too much for TP to handle. Falcons tossing it around, and then it's Chase Blackwell, who's set up for the spike, and yep, that's just the way the Vikings like it. Some bump set spike action, a nice rally, something the audience saw a lot of. Finally, Evan Paspo said he's had enough and he settles it. Tory Pines wins game one, 25 to 22. On to game two now. Vikings serve it up and earn the point with a nice little tap by Chase Blackwell. Falcons are spawned though with another spike by Evan Pasco. Tory Pines keeping momentum, just pushing the ball over the net. La Jolla wants his one bad though, and they seal the deal with a nice block. Then yet another spike by Chase Blackwell, on fire for the Vikes. La Jolla takes game two, 25 to 21. Just when you think it couldn't get any more intense, game three brought it. It also brought a nice spike by Ethan Esposito. But La Jolla was just too hot to handle and they took game three, 25 to 19. Game four, Vikings down, but they refused to quit and they rallied from an eight point deficit to come back and win the match, proving exactly why they're the number one seed. Well, we realized that we needed to come through on uh, the first contact and just make a good play, side out and get through it. And we really came together. We've been on a good winning streak, and uh, our chemistry's been building over the last uh, few weeks. It's been getting really good. We're the number one seed coming in this tournament, so we have the home field advantage every single game. We're going to have our crowd on our side, and it's good. We're going to have fun.